Welcome back to EuroFootball Daily. With the season nearly done, let's take a look at 10 signings who have made a big impact at their clubs during the campaign. Let's get into it. 10. Arthur Barcelona spent much of the 2017-18 season trying to secure the signature of Gremio centre mid Arthur, despite then the 21-year-old having made only 35 league appearances for the Brazilian outfit. However, the Catalan Giants had seen enough to be convinced that he could help fill the void left by Xavi and Iniesta and they have been largely proved right. It was generally thought that Arthur would perform a bit part role in his first season at the Camp Nou, but he has already surpassed expectations, making 41 appearances in all competitions at the time of recording. And of the players under the age of 25, only Clement Longlet and Ousmane Dembele have clocked up more league minutes for the Blagrana. And while Arthur hasn't offered much in terms of creativity, registering just two assists and averaging less than one chance created a game, he has been metronomic in the midfield. In fact, of the players who have clocked up more than 1,000 minutes, only Ivan Rakitic has attempted more passes per game than he's 81 and he even gives the ball away less than Sergi Busquets. While he's clearly not been Barca's most influential player in the 2018-19 campaign, Arthur's importance to the club in the long term can't be doubted, especially with the prospect of Frankie de Jong playing alongside him in the near future. 9. Jonathan Bamba Aside from Kylian Mbappe, the clear star of the league one season has to be Lille's Nicolas Pepe. The Ivorian has been a revelation for the North East club, averaging a goal contribution every 98 minutes and of the players in Europe's top five leagues to clock up double figures in goals and assists in 2018-19, only Lionel Messi has produced more. However, Jonathan Bamba's impact at the Stade Pierre Moroy since signing from St Etienne's last July on a free cannot be understated. The Frenchman has occupied the opposite flank from Pepe's for the entirety of the campaign and the pair have linked up ferociously with no two players combining more for goals in the league. Of Pepe's 11 league assists, Bamba has been on the end of five. His coolness in front of goal has seen the 23-year-old amass 12 strikes in the league and while his chance creation has suffered in comparison, he will have more responsibility coming to the new season, with Pepe almost guaranteed to be snapped up by a bigger club. And with Lille qualifying for the Champions League for the first time in five years, Bamba will finally be playing on the stage that many touted for him as a youngster. 8. James Madison It's difficult to recall the last time a new signer made such an unexpected impact in the Premier League. Despite James Madison contributing to 22 goals in the Championship for Norwich in 2017-18, the Canaries finished 14th, making a step up for the ambitious Leicester project all the more daunting for the youngster. However, the 22-year-old has taken to the top flight with ease and is already one of the division's elite creators with only William and Kevin De Bruyne laying on more key passes a game. This has seen the Englishman clock up 7 goals and 7 assists in the Prem and he isn't overperforming with XG matching his output almost identically. Now playing under a more attack-minded manager in Brendan Rodgers and with the fellow talents Yuri Tielemans and Wilfred and Didi backing him up, Madison is spearheading one of the country's most exciting midfields. Bought for €25 million, Euros, the highest fee ever paid for an established championship player, Leicester can now demand at least double that now. 7. Anti Rebic One of the unlikely stars of Croatia's heroic World Cup campaign in 2018, Anti Rebic was subsequently linked with moves to a number of top clubs. But he was tied down to Frankfurt for €2 million, Euros, around 15 times less than his market value, after a successful two-season loan with the Bundesliga club and over the course of 2018-19, he's proved to be a very worthwhile investment. While Luka Jovic and Sebastian Haller have stolen the headlines at the Wild Stadium, firing Di Adler into contention of the highest bully finish since 1993 and the first European trophy since 1980, Rebic has also been excellent, operating behind them or a strike partner when needed. The former Florentino man has notched up 9 goals and 4 assists in the league, contributing to a goal every 134 minutes and while this doesn't compare to the output of Jovic and Haller, he has been a hugely important factor in the team's success, with his contribution accounting for nearly a quarter of the side's overall output. And when you look at his in-game stats, it's clear why the Croatian forward has been so effective. Two shots in the box, 1.7 key passes and 2.2 dribbles a game are the numbers of a fantastic all-round striker. With any luck, we'll be seeing him in the Champions League come the new season. 6. Daily Blind Another man whose displays have been somewhat overshadowed by his teammates in the 2018-19 campaign, Daily Blind has quietly been one of Europe's best centre-backs this season. Given a hero's welcome on his return to Ajax in the summer of 2018 after a four-year stint at Manchester United, the Dutch defender cost the Amsterdam Giants 60 million euros, a full 5 million more than they spent on Hakim Ziyech the previous summer, making him their second most expensive signing ever at the age of just 29. But looking back at Ajax's historic campaign, it looks like money well spent. While they have been unplayable in attack, notching up 111 goals in the league with two games remaining, 
They've been equally solid at the back, letting in just 30 goals and dropping points in just six games. Linda's been the constant, clocking up more minutes than anyone else in the squad, including captain De Ligt and goalkeeper Onana, with an excellent defensive contribution to match. In a side that has averaged 60% possession, he has made 3.7 tackles and interceptions a game. Blinder has been excellent on the ball too, with only Frankie de Jong beating him with passes per match and no one sending more balls into the final third than him in the Champions League. On top of this, Blinder has contributed on the attacking end, laying on 3 assists and scoring 5 goals himself, although that can largely be put down to a memorable hat-trick he scored in the side's 8-0 drubbing of the Graf Sharp in December. With the lit set for a major move in the summer on the back of his remarkable campaign, he must be thankful his compatriot has been such a reliable defensive partner. 5. Krzysztof Piatek Still playing in Poland in 2017-18, Krzysztof Piatek has gone from a practical unknown to one of Europe's most feared marksmen in under a year. Transferring from Krakowia to Genoa for less than 5 million euros last summer, the Rosso Blues sold the striker to AC Milan for over seven times the amount in the winter window after an explosive first half of the season in which he scored 13 goals in 80 league appearances. And since his arrival at the San Siro, Piatek has carried on his tremendous form, scoring a memorable brace on his full debut against Ancelotti's Napoli and averaging a strike every 130 minutes in the league. Amazingly, when you add together his output for Genoa and Milan, he has already eclipsed his final season in the Polish top flight when he scored 21 in all competitions eight less than what he has managed this term at the time of writing. Sold for a club record fee by Genoa and providing the Rossoneri with potentially their best goal scorer since Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Krzysztof Piatek has been a more than welcome addition to the Serie A landscape in 2018-19. 4. Duvan Zapata Signed by Atalanta on a two-year loan in the summer of 2018, Duvan Zapata has since hit the form of his life. The Italian club are now set to make a deal for the Colombian permanent and Premier League clubs are rumoured to be offering 50 million euros for the striker. Pretty amazing considering he's now 28. After moving to Napoli from Argentinian outfit Estudiantes in 2013, Zapata's career in Italy has been a stop start to this point. With limited opportunities under Benitez in Naples and disappointing output during loan spells at Udinese and Sampdoria. However, he has thrived under Gasparini, becoming the first Atalanta's player to score more than 20 goals in a Serie A season since Filippo Inzaghi in 1997. Furthermore, he scored nine goals in December alone, the most by any Serie A player in a single month since AC Milan legend Gunnar Nadal in 1950. And aside from challenging the record of the very best, Zapata's average of a goal involvement every 91 minutes has propelled Atalanta to within touching distance of a second top four finish in three seasons. 3. Jemi Mata Another club who have made an unlikely assault on the Champions League spots in 2018-19 are Getafe, who have battled Sevilla and Valencia for a top four place in La Liga. And while the Madrid club's success has been built off the back of a solid defence, currently the second best in the country behind Atleti, the performances of Jemi Mata up front have been invaluable. Moving to the Coliseum Alfonso Perez on a free from Valladolid last summer, the Spanish strikers enjoyed his first ever season of La Liga football at the age of 30 and after a string of impressive displays was even called up to the national team by Luis Enrique. With 14 goals and 6 assists, Mata's contribution have accounted for 45% of Getafe's overall output in the league, making him as important to the side's attack and play as Eden Hazard is to Chelsea. With teammate Jorge Molino banging in the goals at 37, La Liga is clearly primed for late bloomers and Jay Mata could become the next golden oldie to make La Liga his hunting ground in the years to come. He may well be the heir to Ritz Aduriz. 2. Alisson it's easy to forget that less than 18 months ago, Liverpool were still very much known for possessing an incredibly weak defence. In fact, the last time they had conceded less than 40 goals in a league season was way back in 2009-10, Rafa Benitez's last campaign in charge. Fast forward to May 2019, and with one game remaining, the Reds have let in just 22, their best record in the top flight since 1979, and have lost just once, something they've never achieved before. Their newfound defensive solidity can be attributed to many things, namely Klopp assembling a rugged, tough tackling midfield, the coming of age of Trent Alexander-Arnold and Joe Gomez, and of course the signings of Andy Robertson and Virgil van Dijk. But the 73 million euros capture of Alisson was the final and perhaps most crucial piece in the puzzle, with the club chronically struggling to find a solid keeper since the departure of Pepe Reina in 2013. The Brazilian has finally provided the answer and has amassed 20 clean sheets in the league at the time of recording, the best record in a single Premier League season since Edwin van der Sar back in 2009. Liverpool have on average conceded more shots per game than Man City and Alisson has been making around 3.4 saves per goal conceded, which isn't far off master shot stopper Jan Oblak's average of 3.8 in 2018-19. 
In the wake of Mignolet and Carriers, it's pretty amazing that despite making three errors leading to goals this season, not once has Alisson's legitimacy between the six at Liverpool been called into question. He's simply been that good. 1. Axel Witzel A sign in most of us have wrote off at the start of the season, Axel Witzel has been one of the most unlikely heroes of the Bundesliga in the 2018-19 campaign. Now 30, it's pretty amazing that it's the Belgians' first ever season in the top 5 European league and many thought this time had passed following a move to Chinese Super League in 2017. And while Lucien Favre's Borussia Dortmund has his fair share of stars, namely the explosive Jadon Sancho, the resurgent Marco Royce and the super clinical Paco Alcacer, Ritzel has arguably been a bigger presence than all three of them. Clocking up by far the most minutes of any outfit BVB player, the former Zenit man has provided Favre with a midfield metronome, making 72 passes a game with 93% accuracy to match, both unmatched within the Borussia squad. He has also been involved in five goals from defensive midfield, including a crucial winner against RB Leipzig in January. Whichever way the Bundesliga title race goes, and it currently looks like Bayern's got it once again, Borussia Dortmund's latest league campaign has easily been the club's most memorable since the Klopp era, and probably wouldn't have been possible without the unwavering composure of Axel Witzel in the centre of the park. So that was 10 of the most important signings we think clubs made this season. If you have any suggestions or think we missed anyone out, get them down in the comments below. And as always, stick on this channel as we have a live stream for Ajax vs Tottenham tonight. So stay tuned for that. And as always, like and subscribe.